I'm Susan, and uh, I've lived here 22 years in this neighbourhood, longest I've ever lived anywhere. I've travelled from New Zealand to Australia, travelled a lot in New Zealand, travelled a lot here on the eastern side, and then for want of a better word, a truck came in and yeah, destroyed a lot. So. That was 25 years ago. 22 years plus a little bit, I've lived here in this neighbourhood. And I was part of the people that helped create and support the creation of this park. Now I'm going to show you something. And I'll ask you to tell me, me, why I would want a digital lifestyle. Why I would want to spend hours a day sorting out my learning and putting everything into place and then actioning it and I'll show you a little bit of why all right why this is why okay maybe it's not you know maybe it's not hugely like a war zone but I'll tell you something when you come here and you think I'm going to check it out for a bar. I'm going to check it out for a barbecue, and you find this, and you go, "Wow, what has happened to the place?" You know, when, when we when we turned up, it was like a slum. It improved. The mindset has come back. And I don't care if it's drugs, ice or whatever. I got asked right last year, would I ever get fed up with the lifestyle of tra travelling? <laughs> what? <laughs> Stupid question. But anyway, I answered it and said no. No, I would not. In fact, with my digital lifestyle, my own alternative is to go to places. It's probably safer in a war zone if you think about it because nothing there belongs to you, you can travel through. With that, think about it. You think about why would someone spend hours a day of their day learning how to do this? Learning how to have an alternative lifestyle. An alternative digital lifestyle. Brings a smile to my face every time. Yeah. You want more information? Contact me and we can work this through. Catch you later. Bye.